Welcome back to the channel's Iceman Studios here and today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make designs just like this for your streetwear brand. Let's get it. So we're on the computer basically I'm just going to show you guys the design in full detail and basically what it is. It is a kind of a rough draft. It's ironic that I'm showing you guys how to make a design when the design itself isn't fully finished. There might be some touches that I might do. For example, I might uh, go in and actually make these angels a lot like less saturated so it blends in better as well as i clean it up because there's like some like parts right here that should be cleaned up but this is the design that i'm working on for my clothing brand that i'm actually going to be filming a youtube video series on i'm going to be building it out from scratch it's basically going to be called anello lorenzo uh, so be on the lookout for that to be launching in december but basically the design right here of the meaning is kind of like a darker meaning as you can see, it says, I met a little angel and she told me nothing lasts forever. So basically what that is just referring to is a little angel can signify a girl or something, a re relationship ended so nothing lasts forever. That's basically the concept on it. I guess like I was in a rough spot in my life where I felt the need to actually, <laughs> instead of going to therapy, I reverted to graphic design, which I know a lot of you guys can relate to, but just some in detail depth of the design. It's more of a grunge type of vibe. Obviously it still has like the style that I'm really good at, which is like a lot of like glowing like pieces, but we obviously grunged it down and added some nice like half tone uh, features as well as the actual like design itself was a lot more of kind of like grungy if that makes sense or it's a lot darker than, than what i usually do so basically what i did was i just pulled back the original images so i'll basically show you the assets that we're working with the first one being we have this kind of like angel looking person right here i'm um, trusting that you guys know how to already cut out images but basically just imagine the original images to be kind of like a regular picture and then obviously we just cut out the pieces that we want and then the next thing that we have is these angel kids i wasn't able to pull the original image without it like being edited but basically I'll show you guys how to do the effect shortly and then we have a halo right here and then we have kind of like a two like cupid like looking like angels and then obviously we have the background image of the moon let's just jump straight into it and then we're gonna start the kind of like compositing like element so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the background so we, we're gonna name this layer background moon what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate it twice and then we're gonna go in and add multiply and then we're gonna add a threshold layer right here we're just getting the initial like effects going right now that right here and then we're just gonna start messing around with the the compositing so now we have the i guess kind of like the the angel looking guy right here we're gonna set him off to the left right here and then we're gonna have the angels go in right here set it right there we're gonna get the halo on there i think i lined it right here main or not the two main but the with the baby angels put it right here behind them i think right here is more than fine okay so i extracted the the woman that we used in the photo we're gonna place it right here she's kind of like glowing then we're actually just gonna clean this up a little bit more so we're gonna take the the brush tool and just brush that part out okay so now what we're going to do now is we're gonna apply that same like multiply and threshold effect to pretty much all the images we're just gonna apply the filters so we're just gonna command j um set this one to multiply and then we're gonna add what is it again oh threshold and then we're just gonna set the threshold and then we're gonna clip it to the the bottom layer and then we're just gonna adjust it right here and then we're obviously gonna be tweaking these uh shortly and then we're just gonna do it for basically all the images here Okay, and then before we add the colorizing effects and uh, mess around with the lighting, what we need to do is, as you can see right here, it looks a little bit awkward how there's just like a random stone where obviously the image was cut off. We're just going to hide all these layers really quick. We're going to pull it from this one. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to make a little cutout of uh, the clouds right here. So we're just going to get our pencil, which is uh, for a shortcut, it's, you just press P. And then we're just going to select clouds this one doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna blend it in with the brush anyways so we're just trying to get like a basic kind of like outline right here and then since there's stars right here you could just go like this OK, 
Okay, and then everything is all there. We're just gonna hit selection, press OK. Command J to make a new layer. And this one's on multiply, so we're gonna set it to normal. Set this one back onto multiply. And then threshold layer for a clipping mask. And then we're just going to match it like so. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna move that cloud separated layer. Uh, we're gonna put it over the other angels tab so that way it looks like the stone is gone. Okay, so yeah, so we're gonna create a clipping mask and then we're just gonna brush out the areas where it did that. And then we're gonna set this glowing woman a little bit more down. There you go. And then, so basically what we're going to do now is we're actually gonna go ahead and group all of these together into one layer. And then we're gonna go and select the gradient map and then we're going to clip the gradient map to the to the design layer okay so we're just going to set the clipping mask right here and then we're just going to tweak it so we'll set the white in the back the black in the front and then we're going to add kind of like a like a red right here so boom now obviously you can see there's a slight problem now you can hardly tell that the dude is right here because uh it was too deep of a black and then you can see that these were all overexposed so now what we're going to do is we're going to manually adjust it with a bunch of curves we're going to start with the main image right here the main guy i'm calling him the main image because when i was actually designing it this was the first piece that was part of the puzzle so yeah we're going to create curves and then we're just going to brighten it up you can make an S curve, I like doing S curve. That way it has a bunch of contrast on it. What I actually did was because it was still too dark was I went ahead and added a extra layer and a, it was a glow layer and then I just applied it manually right here. So that way there's some separation between the background and the, and the guy. Okay, that looks good. And then we're gonna go ahead and go on to uh, these angels right here. They need to be, they need to be adjusted. So create clipping mask on the curves layer. We're actually gonna bring it down and then we're gonna see if this, and then we're just gonna move this up. So basically a reverse S, that's what I did. And then this one still looks a little too dark. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into here and then we're just going to apply a, a curves to, to the bottom layer right here. So that way it's a little bit brighter as well as the top layer right here. Curves, create clipping mask and brighten it up. Okay, that looks good. Obviously, when I made the design, it's hard to replicate the design exactly. That's why it looks a little bit different, but obviously I'm still showing you guys mainly how I did it. Um, and I'm not spending that much time on it because I already designed it and I was just adjusting like the levels and stuff already on the, the main one. So I'm not spending as much time on it right here. And then the font I used, it was called Mont Heavy Demo. We're gonna set the text to white. And it was all caps, I believe. So we're gonna do cap blocks. Let's check the spacing on here. Looks good. Actually, it up a little bit more. Bottom one where it was like kind of like cursive, I used the font. It's called Monsieur La. I'm not even gonna pronounce it, but yeah, that's basically what it was called. I'm just eyeballing it. It was red. And we're gonna scrunch it a little bit. I think I set it right here. Going to group everything once more. Uh, we're gonna duplicate it so that way we have the original layer right here. Command E to merge everything all together. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're gonna add that half tone texture I used. There's a free download in the link below. I'm not trying to sell you anything. Uh, it's literally free. We're gonna add that half tone texture and then we're gonna put it to overlay. And then if you zoom in, you can see the half tone texture on here. And then we're going to do the magic wand and 
we're going to delete the black. And then if you want to, and you're not satisfied with like the coloring, you can also kind of like tweak it right here. You can make it darker or whatnot. And then that's that. And we're gonna create the clipping mask right here. And we're gonna command C it, and then we're gonna go into our, our mock-up pack, and then we're just gonna mock it up. And then boom. That's basically how you guys design that like streetwear design. If you guys liked it, please give this a big thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, like I mentioned before, I'm actually going to be dropping this design really soon and I'm super excited about it. It's been a long time since I've been out the game. Um, looking at the design, I actually, I put the moon higher and stuff. So it's not an exact one-on-one -on -one, uh, comparison. Also, the, the coloring is a lot more saturated because uh, I didn't do the levels and stuff. But basically, the main effect was adding grunge to the, the actual design because if we actually go and hide this layer and then we compare it to the originals as you can see like it was not that like it wasn't as grungy like it was like a lot more smooth than it is right here so yeah that's basically the design still it's just utilizing, utilizing mainly multiply and the threshold and then if you wanted to take it a step further what you could do is you can isolate the layers and add a filter galleries and mess with the blending modes the reason why i didn't go over that is because honestly in clothing yeah adding a lot of effects is cool for mock-up purposes but when you actually print the design onto the t-shirt a lot of the detail is going to be uh, removed regardless so it doesn't really really matter it's more so for the actual like digital art aspect is where you uh kind of go in and go crazy with the the effects but obviously we're going more so for a uh, speed and efficiency over like doing stuff that's not even going to be reflected on the print if that makes sense so yeah but you, you're more than welcome to to do that it's just uh there's not really a point <laughs> other than like the mock-up purposes but yeah it's dropping really soon feels good to actually record a youtube video again so yeah peace out love you guys see you in the next video